guys. We're coming here from, from Los Angeles, California, home of the second best team in Major League Baseball. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> Dodger fans are especially blue today. According to uh, the fake news media, the Red Sox beat the Dodgers last night to win the World Series. But we know the real story is that the Dodgers swept the World Series in four games, and the lamestream media won't report that. <laughs> we have a lot of Boston fans here at the show. Dickie is one of them, most of whom were at the game last night, some of whom snuck into the game last night. And there were, there were a lot of Red Sox fans at Dodger Stadium last night, including a couple whose names you may know. There's Leslie Mann, yeah. husband Judd Apatow. Tony Robbins, from Ben Affleck to Matt Damon to Jimmy Kimmel. There's nothing worse than paying a lot of money for tickets and having to sit next to an obnoxious jerk the whole game. <laughs> And that is the last time I ever used Groupon again. He's so... You know, he eats other people's unfinished food off the floor like a rodent. Half, half of the game, he's down on his hands and knees eating garbage like this. And that was unfortunate. But the big loser last night, even though his team won, really was Ben Affleck, who made the mistake of sitting between us with the shirts. And that's what they call... I believe they call that collateral damage, so... The Red Sox won the series last night. But the Dodgers won one for the record books on Friday night. Now, last year, Guillermo and Cleto and I went to, remember, the shortest World Series game since 1992. We almost missed the game. And on Friday, we went to the longest game in postseason history, seven hours and 20 minutes. It was 18 innings long. I had, honestly, I had to carry this little fellow to the car. It was... <laughs> you know, Dodgers Stadium stopped serving beer and food after the seventh inning, even if the game goes 18. So for 11 innings, there was nothing to eat or drink. Luckily, my brother brought his glove to catch foul balls, and we were able to eat that as a family. But <laughs> one thing I noticed during this long game is that no one does the wave anymore. I guess the wave is out of style. It's funny, because I always hated doing the wave. I was like, all right, here it comes again. But now that it's gone, I miss it. And... <laughs> but you know what they should get rid of? Jeff, play the, uh... That, that, that... No, no, not that one. The, uh... Oh, no, no, yeah, the first one is one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That right, right. Yeah. Okay, now hold on a second. What could be less motivating than... I mean, like they put a flamenco dancer in charge of the crowd. That's the opposite of getting fired up, right? I had a Dodger dog at the game. And, and when I say I had a Dodger dog, I had three Dodger dogs. But anyway, we went to the little condiment counter, and I like the Golden's brown mustard. I don't eat ketchup on the hot dog, no yellow mustard, brown mustard. I, don't, I won't even talk to people who vary from that. But, and I don't know if this was a mistake or some kind of a prank, but the brown mustard that was usually there was not there. And instead, they had this big pump bottle of honey mustard, which... <laughs> Nothing against honey mustard. It's fine for chicken fingers, but you don't put a honey mustard on a hot dog. Even bees, if you offered them honey mustard, would be like, no, no, that's... <laughs> but the Dodgers had honey mustard out for their hot dogs, and that's why they lost the World Series. It's the fundamentals. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button, and if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.